Welcome to your chairlift to a higher level of play. I'm Patrick McIntosh, and you know who's here? Brandy Chastain. Brandy, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Oh, fantastic. Welcome to Santa Clara. Man, this is this is the best pitch I've walked on in California. It's definitely my field of dreams. When I t when I think about all the fields I've played on around the world and the stadiums I've been in, I always go back to this field. It's my favorite. In growing into commentating and doing those things with ESPN. And how did they stretch you maybe as a player and a professional? I'm sure it's just a different thing that you're growing into. Well, I think that the most challenging part about being on the commentary side, especially in the booth, is you only have X amount of seconds, not minutes, not 90 minutes to make a point. So in a game, you, you have a chance to make some mistakes or you go out and you feel out the other team, you kind of get a rhythm of what's going on. I think that what I learned from being a player and that carried over to being a commentator was you have to know the game plan, and you have to stick to it, and you have to be precise. And if you, the more precise you are, the better results. Nice. Well, you <laughs> represented NorCal well. And by the way, we have to dispel some myths. There's been, uh, you know, some, I guess, rumors that you're not actually from the San Francisco Bay Area. And maybe we could just what? get over that right now. Can you use hella in a sentence? Um, <laughs> um, yeah, well, let's see. Last night I was hella good in the in the um, pickup game that I played. In. Nice. <laughs> see, she is from NorCal. <laughs> right on. How about like favorite players, like on the uh, the current U.S. team? I'm sure you got. You know, these women are looking to you, and, and who, what are some of the great ones that are that are like stand out for you? Well, Abby Wambach, I think, is number one on the list, and the reason why I put Abby at the top is because she's. She reminds me so much of Michelle Akers, uh, and that was my, I think, my all-time favorite U.S. national team teammate and player because she came to practice every day with this look in her eye, and you knew she meant business from the moment she crossed the line onto the field. And I think Abby respects the game. I think she respects the opponent. I think she's gone through a transformation in her career. Uh, you know, I think she first came out and everything was just physical. She's she's big. She's got a presence. And then I think as her career has gone on, and she learned from Mia Hamm, she learned from Christine Lilly, Julie Foudy, she learned about how to be a professional and how her actions off the field impacted the actions on the field, and that she had to become a leader too. Uh, she's clearly um, become a force for the national team. And even though I think in the World Cup it wasn't her greatest World Cup, and I don't even know if she would even put those four games in her top ten even though she scored some important goals, what I love about Abby is that she's she's turned her focus from, as strikers do, because I was a striker, I know, it's like we want to score goals, and it's all about us getting the ball. And she's really turned it into how I can help the team and how I can contribute to the success. And so I'm very impressed with Abby and, and the kind of professional she's become. So she's my number one. And I think my number two, kind of, I said this before the World Cup, and I was waiting and waiting and waiting, and I finally got it, which was Alex Morgan would be an impact player in the World Cup. She, even though she was young to the national team, she hadn't played very many games, she doesn't have very many minutes with the national team under her belt. There's, there's certain things about uh, talented players that you just can't deny. And Alex has great athleticism and explosiveness. And, and I think she's, a kind of, she's willing. I, I think that's a part of being a player that, you know, if you're willing to do the little things, if you're willing to work when, you know, maybe it's not cruel or maybe it's not what the coach is asking, but if you're willing to work for your teammates and do anything necessary, you're going to go places. And I think that's the kind of player Alex Morgan is. Wow, that's cool.